Hi, I'm Jeff Daniels. In his novel, You Can't Go Home Again, Thomas Wolfe wrote about the difficulties of trying to relive your past. Well, nobody can do that. But if you go back to a place like Chelsea, Michigan, like I did, you might find that home is better than ever. Located in southeastern Michigan, Chelsea is 45 minutes from a major airport, 10 minutes from downtown Ann Arbor, and we're the gateway to 20,000 acres of state land. But we've got a lot more than that. We got professional theater. And we've got our own library, which in 2008 the Library Journal awarded it the best small library in America. And we've got coffee. We've got fine wine, and we've got hard and soft liquor. We've got police. We got a fire department. We've got God. We've got the most famous little blue box in America. We've got our own train. We always know what time it is. We've got fishing. And we've got boating. And we've got swimming. But Chelsea's got far more than that. One of the things we've really got is, well, a town where people come just to hang out. You can even ride your bike around in this town. And the town hardly rolls up its sidewalks at 9 o'clock at night. It's your quintessential little small American town with an artistic side that goes along with the coffee and the donuts and, of course, the, the sandwiches that, you know, if you want that special kind of sandwich, we've got that for you. It's the kind of town that people will literally stop in the middle of the street and say hello to each other. It's a beautiful place. Pretty parks and with little creeks that run right through the center of town. And the kind of place that you just want to be. And people do. They come here just to see what's going on. A lot of businesses that have been around for decades we got playgrounds that, that we built just for the kids that, well, who wouldn't want to play in something like this? And for those of us who believe the arts can help the spirit, we've got a little something called the Pathway to Renewal. For you history buffs, we've got a little bit of that too. Chelsea dates back to the early 18th century. We've got your modern day sports activities. And, well, your less sporty activities. Or if you just want to paint the famous rock in Pierce Park, you can do that too. The Chelsea Community Fair, that's been around since 1872. All the farmers come in every weekend during the summer and bring their local produce. Just another reason for why people keep coming to Chelsea, Michigan businesses that have been around for a long time. Oh, did I mention the library? How we were named the best small library in America in 2008? Yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of proud of that. Makes us pretty smart, I guess. I, I don't know, sometimes I think if Norman Rockwell if were still around, he just might paint us. <laughs> Chelsea's the kind of place where families stay for generations. Must be a good reason must like it here. Things to do. It's a place where the arts work hand in hand. With the local businesses, everybody kind of gets along. And businesses that are one of a kind, original, unique. Businesses where you, you get to know the people who are running them and they get to know you. Oh, and we've got perhaps the best restaurant in the state of Michigan which is a good thing to have if you've got a theater company down the street. 
Yeah, we're a pretty artistic community. Especially if you're a kid. We've got music and dance and voice. Did I mention theater? Yeah. When I was their age, I was doing the exact same thing right here in this town. We've got our own teddy bears. Our own 18-hole public golf course right in the middle of town. Our own public high school that was well, good enough for me. I even played on this field. Though back then, it wasn't as nice as this. That's the same turf they have at Michigan Stadium. Pretty great place to play football. And our baseball and softball fields, they're more like minor league ballparks. We have our own hockey rink. How many small towns can say that? High school hockey team and our own youth hockey association. And at the junior high school, We've got the Charles S. Cameron Community Swimming Pool. We've got our own community hospital. And for those of you who don't want to end up in a hospital, we've got a first-class fitness center just for you. And if you're an animal, we've got you covered too. Do you need to renew your license? How about get some Mugu Gai Pan? Or how about a fajita? Or maybe just a nice piece of chocolate. And if you're a senior and you're looking for a great retirement community, Chelsea has several right in town. And for those of you who want to stick around forever, we can accommodate you too. All in all, Chelsea, Michigan is a nice little small town. It's, well, just a nice place to be. Thomas Wolfe was right. You can't go home again. But sometimes if you go to a place like Chelsea, Michigan, you're going to find some things that maybe remind you of home, feel like home. So stop by and see us. Who knows? Like me, you may end up staying.